SH Figure Arts, Shin Kocho Seho, Ultraman Tiga, Power Type. First look, and this giant of light is a sight to behold. Tiga and the Ultras in general always had such an interesting face design. It's both uncanny and expressionless, and yet so easily recognizable. The face is definitely alien in nature, but not really something you'd consider malicious. There is a minor inaccuracy though. Tiga's eyes are supposed to be more yellowish, sort of like they're glowing. What we got was translucent. I don't know how much that affects your enjoyment of the figure, but hey, just thought I'd point it out. Figure Arts applies a smooth silver sheen throughout the body and incorporates a fine shade of red. Some visual standouts include the gold streaks in the chest protector and even the sapphire-centered colored timer. Even minute details like the subtle creasing and folding add to the illusion that this is a guy in a suit. And it's a pretty seamless suit. Proportionally, he's properly beefy. He's not as overtly muscular like, say, the Titus or the Zet Beta Smash, but compared to his multi-type base form, he's a flat-out bruiser. More the physique of something like the Armored Titan or someone like Brock Lesnar. Articulation starts with a ball joint at the head and a ball joint at the base of the neck. We also have ball joint motion at the chest and ball joint motion at the waist. The arms can go sideways no problem. The arms can rotate no problem. They can also be pulled outwards for a small butterfly extension. We have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, the legs can kick forward this far and kick backwards this far. Tiga can kick sideways, not so far, but you have a bit of a pull down at the thigh to get a better sideways kick. We have a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, slight knee swivel, the ankles are on a hinged ball joint, and the toe can bend. Articulation is pretty good. The rubber parts in the abdomen feel a lot softer than the ones on the multi-type and there's also a bit more clearance above the shoulders to avoid paint scraping against the chest protector. I would still recommend handling with care, but yeah, articulation, really good. Tiga power type comes out of the box immediately ready to throw hands as he starts off with a pair of fists. Maybe he's in the mood to choke some fools and he can with a pair of open hands. He also comes with an even wider pair of open hands that we'll just go ahead and call the grappling hands. Tiga also comes with a pair of chopping hands and even a secondary pair of chopping hands that's a bit more curved. I like to think these are made for an orange Zipirion beam effect that's not included. And strangely, Tiga also comes with a pair of gripping hands but really nothing to grip. On the subject of gripping, we get a single right hand gripping an orange energy ball, the duration beam. Just take either of your wide open left hands and Tiga power type is charging something big. This next right hand is attached to a beam trail which is meant to work with two other effect parts and a stand to replicate duration beam torrent. We also get a similar beam trail minus the hand which unlocks endless beam possibilities like maybe an orange Superion beam like I mentioned a few moments ago. Tiga's final accessory signifies that time is almost up and that's the color timer with a ruby red center. A quick size comparison, here's Tiga power type next to Metal Robot High New Gundam, the Robot Spirits version of my previous review, the Ava Unit Zero, next to the only kaiju in my possession, SH Monster Arts Godzilla Ultima, and finally, next to SHF Ultraman Tiga Multi-Type. Ultraman Tiga Multi-Type was a heavily mixed bag in Ultraman's first foray to the Shinko Seho. There were numerous horror stories of bad quality control, most complaints were centered around the fragile paint smudging and the limited range of motion because of the hard rubber parts. And for a line that has a premium price tag, bad quality control is simply unacceptable. Tiga power type so far in my experience has been great. The rubber parts in the abs are softer and more pliable, the paint hasn't exhibited any sort of fragility, and the articulation flows really well. I would say if you can find it for close to retail, then it's definitely worth considering. With the inevitability of Tiga sky type and Ultraman getting the Shinko Seho treatment next, 
hopefully somewhere down the line, we'll also get Ultraman Dyna. I mean, come on. The next series is literally called New Generation Dyna. So it's only going to be a matter of time, right? <laughs>